Hey guys, here today with the conversations over coffee, I want to talk to you about author expectations. So, author expectations. Uh, what I really mean by that is how your expectations of a certain author affect your actual experience with a book. Now there are lots of different ways that you could gain expectations of an author, whether or not it's because they are very popular, I've heard lots of people talk about them, whether or not you have read a particular book from them and really loved it or maybe thought it was mediocre. I apologize for any noise in the background of this video, Scout is playing. <laughs> Thanks honey, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, expectations of authors. I know that my personal expectations often affect how I read a book. Most of the time if this is an issue for me it's because I have high expectations of an author. It's an author that I've maybe read one or two books by and I loved them. And so when I read a book of theirs that maybe wasn't as much to my taste or I felt didn't live up to the standards of the other books, I feel seriously let down. And I often try and counterbalance my uh, disappointment with trying to find as much good in that book as I can. Um, it's like I so desperately don't want to be let down with them that I'm just trying to find as many positives. And then there are certain books that if I had have read them earlier, I would have probably liked them a whole lot more. As in, if I hadn't have read a better book from that author first, then the standards I would have had for that book wouldn't have been quite so high and I'm sure I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Um, an example of this is probably Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. I started with Rebecca, which I think is where most people start because if you're going to read one Daphne du Maurier, it should be Rebecca. Um, and Rebecca is one of my favorite books. I absolutely adore it. And my second Daphne du Maurier that I read was Jamaica Inn. And when I think about Jamaica Inn as a completely separate contained piece, I really, really like it. But when I start trying to compare it to Rebecca, which I cannot stop myself from doing, uh, it falls so flat for me. And I feel like that's that happens to me a decent amount where a book suffers from my expectations being raised from a different book. So basically what I'm asking of you guys is do you do this as well and do you compare authors works? Do you have expectations for a book even if you haven't read anything by that author before? Do you sort of have in your head uh, what to expect from it and how much you may enjoy it and then do you kind of compare that to the actual reality? Or are you able to actually separate those feelings and be able to look at each book on a case-by-case -case basis, not necessarily comparing it unfairly to something else. Making comparisons is necessary, I feel. I think it is a good way to gauge your enjoyment of a book and the competency of a book, but I feel like there are certain comparisons you can make that are maybe based on biases and are maybe a little bit unjust and a little unfair to the book. But yeah, I just I just want to know how you guys deal with author expectations, uh, how often you feel let down by an author that you really love, and where your expectations stem from, whether or not you only have expectations about an author or a book if you've previously read something by that author, or if just your general knowledge about an author can be enough to have you expecting certain things. So that's it for now guys. Very much looking forward to hearing your guys' views on this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.